Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you all guys. Thank you very much for watching. It's your boy Faithful Bring it to you once again. Guys, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and share. I'm feeling to you guys in this video. I want to show you how the feeder road looks like here in Ghana. When I say feeder road, some of you may ask, what is feeder road? I am heading up to one of the village here in Ghana. Sometimes people ask that is that any access of road leading to the village village in Ghana? The answer is yes, absolutely yes. In this video, let us take a retrospective review of how the road networks looks like in the typical village found in Ghana. Be with me as you enjoy this episode. I am inside uh, public transport, private public transport. Yeah, so as you can see, that's a driver. Take a look of the road. Have you seen yeah. and it's electricity yeah. so deep in the village? Yeah. Some part of the village is gonna see posts like this. Push the electric electric system will be coming from the nearby city or the nearby town. So that's how it looks like. Wow, let's take a look of the road and I know you're going to love the guys. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and share. It's your boy, if it will bring it to you. Guys, don't forget. It's a set of pentacles over here. I can see guys look at the nature of the road this is incredible absolutely just kindly take a look of the nature of the road where there is a school right in front of the road so these are the situations these are the problems those found in the villages and I go through here in Ghana and uh, just watch the video look at this this car is parking within the center of the road we also have to move, so we have to wait for a while for this guy to move ahead. Look at the nature of the road. Look at the road. Uh -huh, guys, I remember the Pan Africans. You know, your guy fit from a Pan African. My colleagues are African descendants, those in the United States. Some of you used to contact me through my YouTube channel that is that any land for sale, any cadastral land or farmland that they can buy where there is access of roads and electricity. This video is to answer every necessary question asked from our brothers and sisters. In fact, I am doing this video and the people are making their own relevant comments saying that they are suffering in the village, the government doesn't care about them, the nature of the road is not good, so the drivers find it difficult to work over here. So sometimes when they make money and they buy cars, they quickly send the cars to the cities. So this is the problem they are facing here. I'm not a president. I am not a leader, I'm here to publish and broadcast to any leader in Ghana watching. In fact, you people are doing very well, the Ghana leaders are doing extremely well because seeing this village like this, typical village like this, with electricity, I can see electricity poles coming far away from the nearby city or town leading to the village. It's incredible, it's amazing, not all the places that you can see this. But there is more room for improvement, which I can see, yes of course, because the feeder road still have some job that they have to do to help the people in the village. Because look at the road, this road looks very small, it's just like a small road. This road. Look at these people, so they are coming from the farm. Look at the road, very small tiny road. 
this road lead to the village oh my god today is amazing today is amazing guys yo 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 when you come online share this video quickly share this video share the video to the video read to everyone let everyone know how the village lifestyle looks like here in Ghana. Typical village lifestyle. Today, I am going to the nearby village. Today is an amazing day. It's an awesome day. Today is a beautiful day because this video is an awesome video, guys. It's so incredible and mind blowing. Seeing something like this is new to me because I'm in Accra and now I am coming to a place like this, seeing different things all together. Look at the farmers. They live over here in the villages. They have electricity without better road. They are seeking for road and other stuff. That is their need. Necessity is the mother of invention. This video is supposed to uh, emphasize so many discussions for the people in the parliament to do something because the people are desperate seeking for road at this place. And this is, uh, I think, uh, let me ask some of the passengers here so I will know exactly where I am. Your friend has said, Slim people. Slim people. Okay, now, now we are the shrimp people. Look at the nature of the road, that's shrimp people. Wow. nature of the road here it seems that the people are not part of Ghana all day <laughs> it seems that man be Ghana <laughs> but we are still in Ghana guys I'm not criticizing I can see the leaders are doing well because look at that village look at that house over there that is electricity that is electricity to that house you see so that is the only thing that makes me feel so excited and amazing but besides that, the nature of the road is very bad. Mr. President, His Excellency Nadal Kufad, whenever you are watching this video, I know that there are so many prominent leaders on my platform. So, whenever you watch this video, please kindly consider these people. <laughs> these people are desperate looking for road. The feeder road in Ghana can do something about it. Even not to even make it attract, you can at least at least at least do something about it for the nature of the road is very bad wow and i'm excited to give much credit see the electricity poles and other stuff here wow this is amazing and now i can see that there is pillars here the place over there demonstrates that the land over there have a border intersection border with that of that land so they have used the pillars to demarcate the ownership of the lands. It means some of the lands here belong to special people. It can happen that the lands found over here, the land is for private individuals or for government or for someone else. And the major business they do over here is cocoa farm. Look at that. That tree is found over there. It's not a reach. That is cocoa farm. This is cocoa farm. What is this cocoa farm? This one is cocoa farm. That is Coco Farm. You see? So, uh, that's electricity and it's credible, very nice, beautiful. And now, look at this. Within the middle of the road, there is a stream which passes across the other side. And this side looks like when it rains, the drivers find it because it crosses the other side. So, these are some of the problems and challenges that those who have learned either farmland or live in the villages these are some of the relevant problems they face so during this video whatever you find if you don't forget to share the video share share the video to the video rate to everyone who is necessary to make a positive change or impact yeah because the people are desperate seeking for this immediately i started recording the video they said oh our road is not good oh in fact in fact if this people is going to do the road the road but I am not a member appointed by the government. No, I'm just doing this video 
just as a record because we have to keep the records we have to keep how things is done here we have to keep how things is going here we have to keep how things is happening here because we know that it's bound to happen there will be change now ghana is looking like this we know that after 50 years 60 years 70 years 80 years 100 years that we will die and go that time ghana will change so our children will also come and look at the videos that we are doing today if and only if youtube facebook instagram is going to exist this is why we are doing this video we are doing this video for records so whenever you are watching this video don't take it as a joke it's very important you are not benefiting from the video today some of you may think it's normal but our children will feel excited to look for video like this this is why i'm recording this video look at that this is someone farm and far to that side they plant plantains so that is plantain farm So these are the farms that feed those in the cities. They find themselves over here, cultivate the plantains and sell it to the city. And from here, as a Mike to Accra, it's just like two hours, two hour drive. Like two hours. It depends the traffic. Yeah, like two hours drive. Or two hours, two and a half hours drive. It depends the nature of the traffic. Because from there you have pass like Pokiasi, that side, heading up to Insawam, heading up to Suhum. Then after Insawam, you take the junction leading to uh, Asamai Kese. Then from Asamai Kese, you have to take a car to the place that was mentioned. I am new here. I don't know the name of the place. But if you are watching this video, don't forget to share, comment. Let us share these discussions together. This video, in fact, is not a short video. It's very long. I am making this video approximately to take like one hour. The reason I'm doing this video is for history. We are doing the video to keep history. Yeah. We are doing this video to keep history for the foreseeable future. So our children can also analyze and have something to say. Near future, I think they will know how we live. This is apparently at the moment. This is how we live in the village found in ghana typical village found in ghana we are going to cottage not even a village not a town not a city we are heading up to cottage typical cottage so this is appealing to this is how we live this is the lifestyle in the village have you seen that this is someone it can happen that is a plantains, cocoa, or palm, palm nuts, something like that. They kept it on the road, but no one will take it. No one will steal it. That is how they live in the village. They don't do anything just by mistake, like they're going to steal the country. The village is free, you know? They feel free, they live freely, and they are comfortable. They feel, ah, you see how life is. So guys, if you are watching this video and you feel like receiving more private video like this, don't hesitate to email faithful.job at yahoo.com faithful f a i t h f u l dot j o b at yahoo y a h o o o dot com. See, so faithful.job at yahoo.com. Don't forget to email me with the type of videos like this that you want and I'll video and send it to you so you have a look this is the village lifestyle fun here in Ghana apparently we are in the bus this is a typical village typical village lifestyle but so privileged there is electricity leading to all the village that's an electrical post this is the incredible showing over here that is electricity this is cocoa farm cocoa farm you see cocoa farm this is cassava like that and that is the road wow
So far, I have recorded 15 minutes. So I'm going to end the video here and start with a new one. So in this case, this one is going to be the first episode. I'll make it in the form of episode. First episode, second episode, third episode, fourth and fifth. I'll make it up to fifth. So the village lifestyle, first episode of the village lifestyle found in the typical cottage in Ghana. Guys, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and share. It's your boy if it will bring it to you. I'll end the video here. Until we meet, see you next. Bye -bye.